Hi everybody, uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Karen and this is Karen So Slowly. Um, another mixed bag today, but I do have some sewing to show you. Uh, one of my viewers commented that um, she likes to see <laughs> things because I was I was bleating on about me week up at sea houses in my last vlog and saying I'd cut patterns out, but I didn't actually have any sewing to show you. Um, so yeah, I, I quite often make a sewing video with very little sewing in. I think I think those of you who have stuck with me over the last 15 vlogs will realise that now. But I have actually made my Sophia pants and I'll pop a little video in here. Right, so Sophia trousers have added me pockets because um, I like pockets and that did add time to the making of them. It said it adds 20 minutes. I think it added a D, but hey ho, that's me, isn't it, Alfred? Um, there we go. What do you think? Do you like them? Do you like them? Yeah? Do you like them, Billy? Huh? Do you both like them? Is it exciting? Whee! Spin, spin, spin! Yay! Um, so there we go. I'm, I'm quite happy with them. Um, I'll explain all the disasters in my uh, in my vlog, and I'm I'm pretty pleased with them. Um, and God bless Tilly Wellness or Tilly Wands. I don't know how you say your surname, darling, but uh, God bless you, love, because I love your instructions. They are so clear, and she tells you what she'll say you know, mark out your notches with a heat erasable pen because you're going to overlock the edges. So you need to do this first because you're going to overlock the edges. Putting the, the, the elastic band, it's the easiest bit of elastic I've ever put in for the instructions that you got. It was, they were just so clear. So, yeah, she, she explains like, she explains what to do and why you're going to do it. Um not like the butter rick and all the big four or the big five or whatever they are they don't say they'll just say finish the edges did it you know so the seam um she'll say finish finish the edges now because you'll not be able to get to them later or you know she's just so clear and making these trousers has um you know has totally give me my sojo back after the disaster that was the so long butterick blouse which is coming i promise you but i'm saving it all um the viewer that that commented that she likes to see things i didn't show that blouse because i want to save the big reveal of the disaster that it turned out to be um i want to save that for the actual so along because at the end i do ask for your help on what i'm going to do with it um i'm so mad because it was that lovely white double gauze material from uh, beyond the pink door i think um so the sophia trousers yes i did have um a karenism as i always do um i thought first of all i'd cut one of the pocket bags you could two you could a pair for each side like normal pockets like you would normal pockets um and I thought I'd cut one of them and I to me to me mind I thought I don't know how I've done it. How have I how have I created this monster, this <laughs> um I cut the I thought I'd cut the pocket out the wrong way around so that the little lip that goes down where you put your hand in um was on the wrong side and I would have had the uh the wrong side of the material facing in the pocket. So um that little bit down the side that sticks out that that's obviously a pocket that would go on your left hip or alternatively facing that way on your on your right hand side and that would go to the front piece of the trousers or the back of the, the back of the trousers so that when you open your pocket you see this material you don't see the reverse of the material well I was doing it obviously late at night shouldn't have been doing it late at night i know i shouldn't um couldn't get my head around it and thought i've cut a pocket the wrong way so proceeded to cut out another pocket 
I don't think she says anything for cutting out for the pockets. Let's just have a look. Extra time, inseam pockets, extra time, 20 minutes. <laughs> Unless you call Karen. Um, and it takes you an extra... <sighs> so, it takes one hour, 15, 20 minutes, 20 minutes. That's 40 minutes. So, it's about one hour, 55, all told, for cutting out stitching the trousers and the pockets about one hour 55 it took me five hours 50 um and that's i've been quite generous because I've, I've i took a note of my times and i chopped you know 20 minutes off here for doing the dishes and 20 minutes off there for making a bacon sandwich for him and um i did like reduce the time down that i did spend but i think i probably spent longer than that I was determined to get them today and get this vlog put up for everybody because I've been so bad of late not vlogging. So when I I put the attach the pocket, what you do is you attach you have a front leg and a back leg, left and right. So you have four leg pieces basically. You have your four pocket pieces and you attach your pocket piece to your leg piece. Did it for three, absolutely fine. Went on to the fourth. Then thought, no, I've cut the pocket the wrong way. Couldn't understand how I'd done that because I cut two pairs of pockets exactly the same way as I'd done for the other pair and they'd gone on fine. So I was scratching my head a bit. Anyway, cut another pocket out. Da -da 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 -da. And it was when, now when did I realise? Yeah. <laughs> I thought, no, it's not the pocket that I've cut out wrong. It's the leg. And um, when I held, <laughs> when I held the leg up, the gusset was huge. Well, I was holding it up by the wrong end of the flipping leg. I was holding it up by the bottom of the leg. So of course the gusset was huge because it was three quarters of the way down the leg. And by this time I'd already sewn the pocket on near the ankle. So I did invent ankle pockets. <laughs> new invention nobody else has them um and i stitched the pocket to the leg so just thankfully i realized just as i was about to cut out um uh, another leg from the scrap of material i had left and i'll show you another picture here of it uh, over the ironing board with all the tendrils hanging and I just managed to get this leg and I got it pinned and I was just about to cut and I thought hang on a minute I realized what I'd done with the gusset I thought that's you stupid bat that's that's what I've done so um picked the other leg up and thought well yeah there's the gusset there where's the pocket where did I put the pocket and there it was down at the bottom of the leg <laughs> so did tell you i would tell you all about my mistakes so there you go that's that's a classic for me that um anyway so i took the pocket off didn't cut another leg out took the pocket off the other things i've got to tell you about let's see what else is there oh yes do you remember me telling you about beach babe trousers that i'd seen in the joe brands catalog and i was going to try and fashion my own um pattern well i ordered some I know you're not meant to when you sew your own clothes. I know you're meant to make everything, but you know, sometimes life's just a bit too short. And I thought, you know, it's my first pattern I've ever, I'm ever gonna draft. Let's let's just order them and draft a pattern from them. And um, I didn't order the ones that I've had my eye on for a while. They were five pound more expensive. They were 45, these were 40, which I still think is a ridiculous amount of pair for what's in them they're a thin they're a thin viscosey type maybe it's a cotton lawn type material they're a bit thicker than the viscose i've got on at the minute in these sophia pants but can you see the the bottoms of them so it gives a like a nice sort of um handkerchief effect like a handkerchief skirt bottom when, when you've got them on so i have drafted a pattern 
taken from these, turned them inside out, drafted them. All I need to do now is find out how much material I need for the shared panel at the top, which goes around your waist. So we'll let you know how how that you know how that goes <laughs> and I'll wear whatever I end up making from those. But I did I did cheat a bit and I did order them just to take the pattern from them. Uh, the other thing was um, a while ago I I did a big buttonhole and I showed you I showing the buttons like this and I was holding them up to the camera. I'm going to put some photographs in now of the buttons I ordered. And so that was the ones that came, but at the same time I ordered these and they are um, from a company called The Magpie's Eye and it came in a um, very magpie coloured bag. I don't know if it's anything to do with Newcastle United, I don't think they're from this area or anything like that, but it's, uh, you know, the Newcastle United or The Magpie's always used to be anyway. Um, with a lovely note, thank you so much for your fab order and support. I hope you love these little treasures. It was a joy to create them for you. Best wishes. So I'm hoping that these are going to show up better when I show them to camera. But I ordered 10, 2, 4, 6, 8. Oh no, I ordered, yeah, 9, nine buttons. And they've sent an extra button in a different colour way. So if I if I do that. So they're clear, but they've got this like a they're like a resin um, and they've got this glitter in them. And the extra one that came um is like a rose pinky gold colour. So I think they're rather pretty. I think they'll look lovely on on um, well on anything really because they're sort of that multicoloured glitter that depending on which way you tilt it it, it changes colour. I've also got a little packet of Palmer Violets with my order as well so I thought that was really kind of them to send that extra one in a different colour and these ones came a little bit later um, I mean much later they came about two weeks after the other ones did but I think these ones are made to order so when you put the order in they then make them for you they don't have like loads that you just chuck in a bag and send to you so I think that's why it took so long just keeping on the button front I was in um, Primarni the other day Primark and uh, for one pound I managed to get um, a little plastic bag of five cosmetic pots, you know, if you were taking moisturising and stuff on holiday. And I just thought, aren't they fab to put my buttons in? So what I'm going to do is put all my buttons, so all of these, so they're all the same, chuck them in the pot and keep all the buttons together. Rather than putting all the buttons, I've got a bit of a craft box with loads of little boxes in and I sort of chuck things in. Um, I chuck things in sort of willy-nilly and they all end up mixed up and things like that but I mean they're quite thick decent sized buttons and there's there's ten of them in there uh, or nine of them I should say so um, I thought that was quite a bargain and for one pound I mean you can't go wrong for one pound can you and then if I need pots for moisturiser, when I go on holiday, I'll just empty the buttons out into something else and uh, use the pots. So that was that. And the other thing was my magazine came. My subscription, no, subscription to Simply Sewing magazine came. It's another bit of a disappointment, I think. Um, it's, yeah, that's, that's one of the patterns that you get um and i just i don't know what they do wrong i really don't i'm not the most sort of fashion conscious stylish person myself 
<laughs> somebody had commented to somebody the other day it said something like um oh when when that woman goes out she looks like she's fallen in the laundry basket and just come out dressed and I sometimes feel that about myself I don't really put in any thought into what I chuck on if I'm around the house especially I just chuck on whatever I chucked off last night put it on crumpled from the floor usually in the bedroom I mean, that's too much of a reveal that really isn't it far be it from me to comment on the way they're photographing these models but to me that material especially the plain one does it absolutely no justice whatsoever that dress um it's an okay dress i would need about another well i'd need it down to about here i'd need it sort of midaxi length really um for me to wear it that's just personal preference though i think i don't know if i've mentioned but i was quite a big lady not so long ago um i had um yeah, I'd, I'd got to the point where I ha I was about a size 22 to 24, going on 22 to 24. And when I went into a shop and I couldn't get in, it was 22 jean. That's when I decided, right, something needs to be done. And so um, I lost a bit of weight. Um, and then sort of all last year, I was going on holiday with my sister. We we're going to uh, Malta and I thought, I, I'm got to lose weight there's no way i am sitting in a bather around the pool the size i am so i lost about another stone and then that's when we went on holiday so then the the diet fell by the wayside so yeah i don't want because i've lost weight and because i've been big i like to wear things that show off my waist because i do have a bit of a waist for all i've got a huge bum i still have quite a, a a small waist for the size of me everywhere else so i do like to show off my middle section uh not so much my tummy my bum my hips my thighs but yeah my waist i'm quite quite happy with my waist um and that dress is just straight up and down she's got no waist there and i'm sure she has she's a dear bonny young lassie she'll have a fantastic waist but it, it, the dress does nothing for her so another disaster um and that was the other one and lordy lordy ugh. these i think are okay i don't know if this is i think they're just too big for that model i know they're probably meant to be baggy floaty pants a bit like the sphere ones i've got on but you know um no the wrong material it's surely that material is too stiff for that style of pant surely you need like a floaty really floaty material drapey material to so it hangs better um but yeah don't particularly like those either and then we've got another bag well you know my feelings on bag i have actually made a bag i did say in one of my vlogs i would never make a bag i wouldn't waste my time and then i remembered i did and i did put a picture of it on instagram so if you go and have a look on instagram on karen so slowly on instagram you can you can find it on there it was just a little, little balloon bag um but i just so i did make that bag so i did lie a bit that i would never waste my time making a bag i've made makeup bags and stuff before but yeah and something like that you can pick that up in primark for about 2.99 so i wouldn't yeah i wouldn't bother that so another sort of disappointing haul of um of patterns from the magazine um and yeah as far as the magazine goes i thought this um they've they've done interviews with uh patrick and esme and sarah from um Sarah, I should say, Pasco from uh, the Great British Sewing Bee. So that's that's quite interesting because we all love the Sewing Bee, don't we? Um, I have to say, though, I'm not enamoured with what they're making this year. I think um, they're obviously looking for different things to make. And I don't know, I think they're sort of scratching the barrel now a little bit. Um, I think if you look back when they were doing things when Lauren Guthrie was in it, was it Lauren Guthrie? Um, they were doing rouleau straps and and French seams and things like that. Basic 
basic sewing techniques that most people know once they've been sewing for a while, I would say. Not, um, and I know they're all meant to be sort of like home sewers and things, and they're absolutely fabulous, the people who are on it. There is no way, I mean, five hours 50 to make a one hour 55 pair of pants. <laughs> There's no way, no way I would ever, ever put myself through that. I just think they, they could just do more, I mean, what did they do last week? They made it, they made fashion wear out of out of a windbreak, for goodness sake. Um, I have to say, I don't like that challenge in the middle. They, like the, you know, the, what do they call it? The name escapes me. Uh, oh, chemo brain. What do they call it? The, anyway, the middle one. The, they've got the pattern challenge and they've got the final one where they usually make a, a, a beautiful gown or whatever. I think they made swimwear this week. Um, it might improve. I don't know. Um, I know it's all African themed this week, so that was, that was quite nice. Um, so yeah, the swimming costume thing that was that was last week's episode, wasn't it? So uh, the only other thing I have to show you is um, is this lovely little thing. Now there was this is a collaboration, so please do forward fast it over this bit i'll just say it briefly lady contacted me um from they're called rose forever and she was called sylvia and um i think they're french but i may be wrong because if you go on the website the price is in dollars so it could be australian dollars i really don't know um she contacted me via email and said would i do a collaboration and at the time she um at the time she did that um i know most of you um know now that i'm undergoing chemo and and have been for quite a while now um and when she did that i was having a particularly bleh day i didn't feel my best and I wrote back to her and saying, look, I'd love to do a collaboration, um, but I just, I'm undergoing chemo. I have days where I just can't be bothered. I can't um, think about doing a vlog. And if I said I was going to commit to doing something with you and I didn't do it, I would feel awful. And and she, I said, so I hope you find somebody else to do it, basically. And I, I turned it down and I'm not affiliated or anything. I didn't I'm not getting paid for, for doing this. And she actually said, we'd just like to send you some flowers, some of the flowers anyway, because we think you deserve it. And uh, we're so sorry to hear what you're going through, which was so sweet. Um, and I was really, really touched by that. And I said, oh, well, look, I'll I'll mention them in a vlog when I do it. But I don't know. I don't know when that'll be. Um, I can't promise it'll be the next vlog I do. And it, and it wasn't, to be honest. This is about the third vlog I've done since I got them. But they're sort of everlasting. They, they last for 12 months. Um, and they are really beautiful um, and they smell absolutely incredible I don't know where that smell comes from if they're in something that's infused with perfume or whatever but they came in this lovely see if I can, ooh, this lovely velvet container which um, to be honest once the roses you know didn't last anymore you could use that as, as something to keep something in really really nice but i just have them like that on um next to my telly and uh yeah so anyway i'll pop the link in below if anybody's interested they are quite expensive yet again um i i did think they were very very expensive for what they are i'm not a flower buying person to be honest um my husband always kicks off with his, his hay fever if he sees I've got flowers in there. Oh, how, oh, they're causing me my hay fever is rife. It must be those flowers. And he's done that with silk flowers before. So that have been there for, you know, 11 months or something. Um, so, yeah, so that that's another reason why I, I didn't really want to do the collab. But um, I think they're rather pretty. I, I do think they're nice. And so she's given me a discount code as well. So... And I honestly think, yeah, you need the discount code. I think it's 20%. I might be wrong. It might be 50%. But I'll I'll pop it all in the link below, uh, in the description below. And um, you can go and check them out for yourselves. 
Um, that's all from me for today. I hope you have a, a lovely rest of the weekend. Um, because I've been finishing my Sophia trousers, I'm dying to go out and sit in that sun, um, which is what I'm going to do now, which is why I've got no makeup on, apart from a bit of lippy and a bit of mascara, because I'm going to go and slather cream all over myself now and uh, do my starfish in the middle of the lawn and scare the neighbours. Um, I hopefully we'll see you next week and um, I'll try and sew something else so you can have a look and see what I've made next week. Hopefully. Take care. Bye.